Grab a cup of coffee because this week we get into some details. Welcome to the story of one yoga entrepreneur's quest to move from his job life into one where yoga is the main focus. We're over half a year in and things are just getting started. This is the Yoga Dream Journey. It is time for another week of the Yoga Dream Journey and this is gonna be a little bit different. This week, I really wanna focus on talking about where I am, where I'm going, and what's gonna be happening. There's not gonna be too many skits, honestly. It's gonna be a lot of this. It's gonna be a lot of this. It's basically me kinda jumping into the whiteboard here and uh, telling you what's going on. Let's dive right in. So 2017 was all about really getting everything together with my YouTube channel and kind of pushing myself to see what I'm capable of. The vlog came about. I started this uh, at the end of February, early March, and I'm still going strong with it. 2017 is about jumping in with both feet and figuring it out as you're going along. You really are a media company. And what I mean by media company is that you really need to focus on the media that you put out. The channels that you use are Facebook, are Instagram, are all of these. And I know it sounds like I'm beating a dead horse, but really that's what it's all about is building out these platforms. So really it's time to start thinking like a media company. Like my light bulb. I don't know if you can really see it. It's kind of a blah thing. Anyways, for a personal brand, acting like a media company means I'm not going to get on CNBC. I'm not going to get on all these major networks. You create your own networks and you produce content on those through YouTube, through podcasting, through blogging, through all these different media. So then what am I building? I'm building a media machine. This week is really, really fun for me, although it probably doesn't seem that fun for you. This week is really, really fun for me, although it probably doesn't seem that fun for you because you're just watching me draw crap on a whiteboard, right? But as an entrepreneur, we love to be in this whole entrepreneur, dreamer, creation space, right? The worker bee stuff, that's fun, but when you really just get to sit back and daydream and think, oh, what if I could create this and do this and all these different things, well, that is the sweet spot and that is what this week is about and I am so stoked. So really, it's time to dream big. So it's time to dream big. I mean, imagine if you could create anything you wanted to, how would you go about doing it and how would all these ideas come to fruition and blah, 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 blah. Like my mind is racing. I'm so stoked to actually be taking this time to really fit everything together. 2017 was about kind of creating the engine and then 2018 is really gonna be time to fly. So about all these channels, right? We got YouTube. And so on YouTube, I'm going to still do three to four things a week. On top of that, I'm gonna be using medium.com. Medium.com is an up and coming blogging platform that really allows creators to share their thoughts and ideas in a really cool social share element. On top of that, I'm going to create a podcast. My plan is to take the content from Medium and then put that into the podcast. Taking that content from Medium, I'm gonna repurpose it into a podcast. It has kind of a half satirical, half serious side to it, so I think it would really make some awesome, valuable audio content. But that's not all. There's a really big relationship that's gonna happen between my website and Facebook. Look, it's Facebook. The ad product that is out there for Facebook right now is unparalleled. It is truly the best the world has seen in decades. And it's very, very valuable to put ads in front of people that educate them about yoga, drive them to your website, say, hey, here's some really great free stuff for you. Just give me your email address so we can keep in touch. And since I have people's email address, I can slowly start to create a relationship through email and all my other platforms, Instagram, Facebook, all of these things to really give a lot of value to people. And eventually, one day, I might actually go in for the sale. Marketing does not mean sales. 2017 has all been about marketing, about brand building, about creating awareness around what I do. 
2018 is also going to be about marketing, creating awareness, giving valuable information to people so they can learn to know, like, and trust you. Sales comes in when you've built a relationship and you say, hey, I have these really awesome yoga classes. I think you guys should buy them. Something like that. I mean, it's no secret that I'm obviously building a business, right? So first I need to get an audience who knows, likes, and trusts me, and then say, hey, I'm actually selling something. Here you go. Would you like to buy it? Here's a little story for you. Recently I had a family member ask me, hey, if you're gonna start a yoga retreat business, what do you need? Just a place to do it or investors? And my response right away was, well, neither. I need an audience. At the beginning of 2017, I could have set up a website and then used Facebook to drive traffic to that website trying to sell people yoga retreats. But this isn't really how yoga works, right? You want to build a relationship with the teacher, you want to know who that person is, you want to really get to kind of understand them. So this is really why I'm putting so much work up front is because I know that I teach well, I know I have a lot to offer, but nobody cares. Nobody cares unless they don't know how good of a teacher or what you can actually do. So the fact is, is you need to provide a ton of value upfront before you start asking for people to buy stuff. So what I mean by marketing does not equal sales is that I'm in the marketing stage. I'm in the brand building stage. I'm in the stage of, hey, my name's Landon. I do yoga. Here's a bunch of free yoga. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out until I'm blue in the face. If you've consumed enough of my content, you know who I am. We've built a relationship. And when I ask you to buy something, it's really not that weird, right? Oh, I know Landon. His stuff is great. I bet his paid products are even better. As I get into 2018, all of the free products that I do, such as all the stuff on my website, all the stuff on Instagram, all the stuff on YouTube, that's still going to be there, and I'm still going to be producing that, because that is the marketing side of things. But as I forge into 2018, I am also going to start selling stuff. These products are probably going to be along the lines of educational programs, how to make your vinyasa classes better, how to get a more rewarding experience out of your yoga class, how to not tear your rotator cuff muscles when you're doing chaturanga, stuff like that. <coughs> 2017 is kind of wrapping up and I need to wrap up the things I've been doing in 2017 so that I can prepare for 2018. And as I showed you before, I have a lot of stuff to prepare for. I'm still going to be putting out videos on YouTube. I'm going to be putting out two to three blog posts a week on Medium. I'm also going to be putting out two to three podcasts a week. And we still have Instagram. And we still have Facebook. And we still have my website. I have a lot of stuff to do. Did any of that make sense? I just have so much to plan and I want to do so much, but I don't want to leverage myself against myself so I can get nothing done. It's kind of hard. So here's the punchline. This week is all about figuring out if it is humanly possible to do the amount of stuff I want done. so much for being here that wraps up another week of the yoga dream journey and got this guy all cleaned up the reason why i cleaned up the studio is one well because it was pretty messy um i've actually had this stuff since the mid 90s and it was probably like coke stains and pencil markings cleaned up and that's a symbol for really what i'm doing now is kind of cleaning things up and re-examining um the brand and how everything fits together and really just trying to make this a squeaky clean media machine. That's basically what it's all about. My YouTube channel has kind of changed like a little bit of branding here and there, you know. Originally it was Yoga New Mexico, Empowerment, Alignment, Strength. And now it's Land and Slaughter, Yoga, Life, Growth. So, you know, it's really difficult to come up with a slogan or tagline that actually makes sense and actually conveys some sort of meaning and like hinges on an emotion. So people really care to watch what you are producing, right? But this is really all a testament of, of doing, of getting things done. I'm super close to figuring out exactly what each 
media outlet is going to be for and the purpose and kind of the slant on my brand behind all of those. Stay tuned, I'm really stoked. Like I said, it's a testament to doing because I didn't wait to figure out every little thing. I knew that by just producing content and videos and getting everything moving that those things would kind of work themselves out. And some people may think that that's backwards, but the fact is, is, well, then you never actually start, you know? And so now actually what's nice is I have a big library of stuff to pull from in the future that is still valuable, that still brings in subscribers, you know? So you can see that I'm still milling all this around in my brain, right? Thank you for watching this unique sort of episode this week. I know it's totally different, but uh, sometimes that's what it takes to kind of figure your stuff out. You guys are awesome. I love all of you. Take care.